Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. And today I want to talk about what's next. What do we have to look forward to? What is on the horizons, should I say? Recently, there have been some data mines. And as is always the case, when it comes to data mines, you should, until anything comes from Nintendo, take it all with a pinch of salt. Sometimes there are things left in the code from scrap things during development. Sometimes it's things that are, you know, temporarily in the code that will then be replaced later on. But sometimes it does indeed link to things things that are coming. So today I want to talk about things that we may have to look forward to in the future roadmap for this game. So if you guys do enjoy this then a like would be super appreciated. If you don't want to hear about things that could potentially get added, you know, light spoilers and whatnot, then by all means step away and of course come back for the next video. But if you are curious as to what things you may have to add to your island, you know, maybe you're planning your island and you want to think more sensibly about your layout, then uh, let's get started. First things first, in number one, we have two more museum upgrades in the form of additional shops. Supposedly there will be a museum shop and a museum cafe. Now details on exactly what these are, what they'll contain, what they'll allow you to do are of course up to interpretation because largely speaking this is all referenced from lines in the code. But a museum shop could well be a means to purchase souvenirs from the museum. When you think about all the kind of stuff that you have given to the museum, given to bladders and whatnot, maybe there's a way to buy smaller versions of that. For example, I've been kind of putting fossils outside my museum as displays. Maybe if you donated fossils and you wanted to kind of buy something that links to, you know, something you may have submitted already, like I've given in my T-Rex bones and I'm waiting for more T-Rex fossils so I can put them on display. If there's ways to buy things like that, that could be pretty awesome. Maybe there'll also be, you know, simpler things like postcards that look like some of the paintings you've submitted or small miniature models displaying the house of like dinosaurs and bugs and other things like that. Honestly, you know, right now that is just pure speculation, but that could be pretty cool. And on the museum cafe front, supposedly this is also going to link in with a new gyroid section. If you guys played previous Animal Crossing games, you'll know that you could dig up gyroids from the ground and you could then display them. And supposedly that gyroid section will link into the museum cafe. Again, no idea what that will be, but that could also bring with it a new NPC, a new character to your island, which in itself could be pretty sweet. Next up, we have more stuff from Leaf. He's gonna be apparently selling more bushes. So currently he has a couple for you to choose from, but supposedly in the data, there are names for Azalea, Hibiscus, Hydrangea, Camellia, and Osmanthus. So more bushes if you want to spice up and spruce up your island a little bit more so. However, linking in with this, there are also additional mentions in the data mine that there will be more shops. I'll speak more about this a little bit later on, but one of the shops is said to be a gardening shop. So it could well be that at some point in the future, Leaf sets up a more permanent residence, much like we've seen from say Abel, who initially used to come and just visit the island periodically. And then eventually she sets up a permanent residence. It would be cool if Leaf could do something similar so you have a uh, you know slightly more focused area to purchase gardening goods yes you can of course buy seeds and trees and whatnot from nook's cranny but having the slightly wider range would definitely be a welcome addition somewhat linked to that albeit thematically basically it's just my segue is that supposedly you'll be able to grow vegetables at some point in the future this can include things like tomatoes wheat sugarcane, potatoes, carrots, and pumpkins. So not only will you be able to go around and plant trees so you can grow your fruit trees and of course plant flowers, you will then be able to set up some kind of farm to begin growing vegetables, which in itself is pretty cool. I mean, vegetables having them, probably use them for crafting, selling them, things like that. However, there's also a chance it may link into something we'll be speaking about shortly. On top of that, it's supposedly said that there will be a third upgrade for the Nook's Cranny shop. Again, no exact details on this, whether it will be, you know, an additional floor, quite exactly what else they will sell. But I think it's fair to say that any kind of expansion will simply expand the amount of stuff they can sell. If you think about Nook's Cranny original shop versus the second shop, they of course sold more items. So it's fair to say that any future upgrade will indeed expand their inventory. For the completionist out there, there's going to be a new section, supposedly, to the Critopedia that will instead include seafood. So the only existing example of that in the game right now are the manila clams that you can dig up from the sand. So obviously, you know, there will be lots more. Supposedly there's around kind of 30-ish entries into that. So having something else to add to your Critopedia, giving you more things to collect and complete, basically just kind of fleshes out the overall experience. Somewhat, again, thematically linked to this, there is said to be at some point in the future a swimming slash diving update that's going to allow you to dive and obtain more fish 
and seaweed that you previously couldn't get. So of course the fish you can just go to, you know, by getting your fishing rod, go into your ponds, go into the sea, the fish that you would supposedly get from diving would be a completely different pool. So think like deep sea fish, that would be pretty awesome. And of course would then give you more things to donate to the museum. Now, something else rather exciting, and this is cooking. Supposedly, there will be cooking coming to the game at some point, and again, that links in with the vegetable stuff I spoke about before. I'm sure part of the reason for growing vegetables and, of course, also having all your fruit means that you can then cook dishes. Now, the reasoning behind this is because in the files, supposedly, there is a listing for cooking recipes. Up until now, we have DIY recipes, but there are supposedly going to be cooking recipes as well, things that you could obviously learn, and then that would then lead into the ability to make dishes. Quite what they would be for, you know, whether it would just be more things you can consume, so you can go and dig up things, maybe you can just use them as gifts, or maybe they have other purposes. Again, we will have to wait and see. On top of that, linked in with the uh, additional recipes, supposedly there's also an entry for clothing recipes. So much like we've been able to craft, say, the Easter clothing items, or maybe the odd thing like if you've ever dug up a boot or kind of fished up a boot, should I say, there is a recipe to kind of create some worn boots. So maybe the idea that you can then eventually create more clothing, get clothing recipes, you know, things outside of the Able Sisters shops, that would be pretty sweet. And then finally, to round it all out, on the topic again of shops, I've already spoken earlier about, you know, the potential additional museum shop and also the gardening shop, but there's also an entry for a real estate shop. Now, we don't quite know exactly what that will be, whether by real estate they just mean like an expansion to the campsite or whether they actually mean, say, an expansion to what Nook himself can do or an additional shop in itself, somewhere that lets you sell more land and get more villages. All of that is very much up to, you know, your own speculation, but it is again listed as something additional in the files. So, there are a few things to look forward to. Of course, this is a game that Nintendo are going to continue to support, going to keep on updating. So, there's of course lots of things to look forward to in the foreseeable future. And, you know, as is always the case, the actual official confirmation will have to wait until Nintendo themselves announce dates, updates, and give us trailers. But if any of that is to be believed, then there's definitely some potentially exciting stuff on the horizon. Thanks for watching, watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.